Will the government acknowledge the importance of sixth form colleges and post-16 education services in Britain? Let me just confirm, we have protected 16 to 18 education in this spending round. Better funded sixth forms and better funded FE colleges means that we've actually got a proper education system that can really drive opportunity in our country. David Cameron is lying about sixth form funding, he's lying about school funding. We have seen our funding cut year on, year out for the last five or six years and it is having serious implications on what we're able to do and people are leaving the profession because of it. Sixteen to nineteen education cut by fourteen percent under the coalition. There was no protection, and now the cash freeze that they talk about in real terms is an eight percent cut because of increased costs. The extra costs are the national insurance contributions that's been put on, on colleges, the extra pension contributions. So the money is going directly to George Osborne. He is taking 5% of your budgets directly by those mechanisms. Gross hypocrisy. Last year alone, we saw, I think, over 50 jobs go. We've had, I think, roughly four years of, of, jobs cut, of job cuts. And what we've seen is a, a reduction in courses. We've seen an increase in class sizes. Already 70% of sixth form colleges of increased class sizes. 80% of sixth form colleges have cut courses. Certainly in our college it's been disastrous. We've lost a lot of very important support staff, especially the ones who are supporting the students. Students used to have individual tutors for pastoral care, access to a broader curriculum, access to enrichment activities. We've seen much of that starting to wash away for students and for teachers. We're teaching more students in less time our workload has gone up. We're doing that with less resources, often in buildings that aren't fit for purpose. No six form cuts! No six form cuts! No six form cuts! No six form cuts! I would like to give a very, very special thanks to Nikki Morgan because her spectacularly misjudged legal action yesterday has given us far more coverage for this time than we would ever have. claims to be interested in raising aspirations and creating opportunity for young people. Why cut EMA? Why cut the AMIA budget? Why cut connections? Why slash funding year on year? Why try and close or merge colleges? The government is now running area reviews and what they're going to propose from that is huge mergers of FE colleges and sixth form colleges. We've been talking to the public in a way that the government clearly doesn't want to. There's no public consultation as part of these area reviews and that's just disgraceful. They want to privatise education. They want these area reviews and these funding cuts in order to soften us up for privatisation. We are not prepared to let colleges close as is already happening. Can you imagine the idea that a sixth form college is bankrupt? By 2020, every primary and secondary school in England will be or will be in the process of becoming an academy. But there's one thing that can stop that. That is us. We are the biggest block to their plans. They know that teachers and other trade unionists across the public sector have the ability to stop the cuts going through, that we have not just the moral high ground on this question, but actually we have the power by withdrawing our labour to do that, and they're petrified. We're not going away, we're well organised, and we're going to stop the government trying to privatise education. They say fight back! We say fight back!